Hello Lobos and Canvas learners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a file directly to a module. Some of you have asked about this, so I wanted to make sure that you understand how to do this. It generally isn't my preferred method, but it does work, especially um, those of you that may have a lot of Word or PowerPoint files. It's similar to how you would add an external URL directly to a module, which is something that you might choose to do with your Google Drive items. So this works in a very similar way, um, but I'll show you that now. So I'm going to start out at the module level, and I'm going to hit this plus sign. And then from the drop down, I'm going to select File. And these are files that I've already uploaded into my course, but I need to do a new file. This is one I have not added yet, so I'm going to say New File, and then Choose Files, and this is going to search my computer and I'm going to find the document that I want. In this case, I want this PDF. And then I'm going to say Add Item. And it should have added right there, so it's already there. Again, if I added it to the wrong module or if I want to reorganize it, I can just click on these dots and drag and move it around. So maybe I want it to go down here. And that's all there is to it. You can now click on it and it will open up on a page and then it would also be downloadable and include that download link right there where your students would be able to actually download the file. So that is how you add a file to a module in Canvas. Incidentally, this file should also now be available in files which I don't make visible to students. Uh, that's just, again, for an organization. I like to keep that hidden. But if you did go to files, you would see the content that you've uploaded. So there's that cheat sheet that I just put in. There it is. Again, it could be downloaded. Go back to the module. Right here, you notice the icon. So just for some clarification, this one is a link. That one's a link. This one is a file. It looks like a paper clip. And again, if I click it, hopefully it's finished loading, but if I click it, um, I should be able to view it there and I should be able to download it. So that's how that would work for a PDF file that you might have on your computer.